must be the Fey Temple. I hope I won't have to lava swim my way to the Codex. Essence Shrine. Time to catch that essence. stuff.
coming for me. humans are immune to the gork. The gork must be craving more food, and I could use his organs. a heck of a dangerous spot. Oh, thank the yods. I'm Ermos from Balana. Hirak sent me here for a bath to rejuvenate my LOA essence. He almost sent me to my reversion. Well, danger averted. You can bathe as much as you want now. You know, being stuck here made me realize something. Life is a bath. The longer you're in it, the more wrinkled you get. If I have to choose between rejuvenating my essence or my body, I choose my body.
Gorky hand now. No one? I wonder why. Trail. I see you. How did you end up here? With a group of former harvesters who traveled from Mimia to seek work in the sun. We found a lot of work with no pay, so I got angry and the invaders threw me in jail.
going, folks. I'm really gonna need that shower soon. has been dumping all their junk here. can leave now. I'm not going anywhere until the yacht send me a sign. Look, I'm your sign, okay? Ask the Almeal if you don't believe me. The Almeal sends you? Uh, too bad. The food was so good here, but thank you.
my friend. May the yachts bless you. Okay, they all want to play. Good to go. Run as fast as you can. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fast. I used to be a racer in Desan. I won the Silver Cup at the Nam Nam event back in the moons. All right, champ. I'll see you on the tracks then. Wow, smells funny in here. What's up with you? I'm not here. Uh, okay, I see you though. My body's here, but my mind's cruising the metaverse. And we are happy. Did you smoke something? Oh, just plants. I wouldn't be a good alchemist if I didn't get silly on my own supply. <laughs> I'm Draud. What's up? Desan seems like a tough place to start a greenhouse. Pretty rocky around here. It's true. I had to diversify my business. I mix my plants with uh, stones, oil, and nom nom mucus to create bombs and um, other products. I'm also brewing my own variety of black lampe. I call it uh, guar lampe. You might have heard about it. How strong is this Guarlampe drink? Ooh, very strong. It'll flip you on your back. Lampe to the max. It won't fix your crushed foot or broken arm, 
but it will make your stomach as strong as ancient steel, which is a pretty good side effect in a town with no food. After a few shots of Guadalampe, you're able to eat pretty much anything and survive. Bandage broth, rotten crockett steaks, oil dessert, or my all-time favorite, dirt souffle in a work pants sauce. Sounds disgusting. What does it taste like? Well, that's the second side effect. Guadalampe makes your taste buds disappear. Hmm, you don't taste anything at all. And don't get me started on the third side effect. Ooh, yacht, damn. Let me guess, a massive hangover? <laughs> You're funny, dude. You know how Talons have 11 senses, but they can't use their 11th sense until they lose one of their other 10, right? One sense goes away, and boom! It is immediately replaced with the next one in line. Uh, no. What's this 11th sense called? It's a pretty new find. Couldn't come up with a consensus name yet. We call it 11 for now. It's like feeling the nature of things around you. You start to know stuff you didn't know existed, like where these things are, their exact place in the universe. Like after a few shots of Guadalampe, miners start locating the helidium hidden in the pillars with their minds. Mm. It's deep, man. Wow, that stuff must be pretty popular around here. I'm surprised that you're not brewing it every day. I'll have to soon. Ever since the invaders took our Shamaz, this town's drinking more Guadalampe than ever before. You won't feel the pain if you drink enough, I guess. I ran out of ingredients. I need to restock fast. What do you need to brew fresh Guadalampe? I'm sorry, but no matter how blazed I am, I'm not going to share my secret recipe with anyone. Why do you want to brew it? I'm thinking about drinking it myself. I could use some of the side effects. Also, I haven't had a real drink in ages. Uh, no offense, dude. You're not a Talon. Who knows what Guadalampe could do to your senses. I don't want you to go blind so you gain something lame, like the ability to talk backwards or something. Don't drink it unless you absolutely need to. Well, Drowd, you can either run out of booze as the revolution grinds to a halt, or you trust me to help. What do you say? Oh, might as well trust you then. If you get me some Lampe, some Dark H, and the blessing from the LOA Darsham Keeper, I'll brew a new batch. Cool. Where can I grab some lampe? Not in Dasan, that's for sure. The village of Bida has the most famous lampe. They deliver planet-wide, if you can place an order. Which I can't, because I'm a slave and I'm stuck here. How much does it cost? I guess that depends. Does the brewery in Bida still exist? I haven't heard from those guys in a while. You should talk to Marzo over there. A Darsham keeper? Why do you need a blessing to brew a drink? Oh, dude, Guarlampe is addictive. Talons can get hooked to it just like that. Abuse it too much and you get reverted. A Darsham keeper has the power to bless every fresh barrel of Guarlampe and remove their lethal effects. Something to do with the LOA essence? Don't ask. <laughs> Just when I thought I'd heard the craziest this place has to offer. Do you have anyone in particular in mind? Go to Polana and ask for, uh, what's his name? Ude. If we're lucky, he's still the Elway Darsham keeper down there. He knows the drill. What about Dark Halidium? Relax, dude. You're spending too much time with Bra. Dark H is an essential ingredient in alchemy. I use it in almost everything I create, so don't hesitate to bring more. Oh, boy. Leaving already?
me. What's up, pal? You must be taking me for somebody else. My name is Brom, not pal. You're right. I'm being too familiar. The name is Cutter Slade. Cutting what now? Why are the invaders taking prisoners? Hard to tell. Maybe they want to scare us into working harder. They keep the prisoners alive. I know that. How do you know that? Look, every second I talk to you, I'm not working. And if the drones see me not working, you're gonna talk to my hazardous next time. So, drones are terrorizing Dasan. Sure. You can call it terrorizing. You'd be terrorized too if you saw what they did to my friends. I could shoot a few down if it helps. Be my guest. Those damn drones are shooting at the Talan and the Nom Noms without any discrimination. I don't even know how McCann can still... Okay, enough said. I have to get back to work. Why do you work for the invaders? What choice I got? Don't know how many alien invasions you've got in your neck of the woods, stranger. But this one sucks, okay? Every Talon here is forced to collect the smaller crystals that they can't dig with their monster machines. Try to run, you get reverted. Try to fight, you get reverted. Or worse, made their prisoner for a while until you get reverted. What do you do here? What do I do? Well, I studied mine engineering in Procriana and rose through the ranks to become the head of quarry operations here in the sand. But now, I work the pillars for Helidium, so the invaders don't shoot me. Fun. Baram from Sapa told me we should talk. Sorry, stranger, I haven't set three toes in Sapa. Don't know no Baram. Uh, you're wrong, right? Baram said you studied engineering together in Procreana. You got the wrong Baram. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta get back to work. See ya. I'm standing right here. Of course you see me. a friend right now. My friends bring me food. You got something to eat? Ah, uh, I don't. Sorry. We ain't friends then. Now beat it. Yeah, how can you run a race without drones noticing? They got flight patterns you can work around. But even if there were no drones, I couldn't organize a race. I brought the Shamaz back to heal the racers. What else do you need to set up a Nom Nom race? Healthy Nom Noms. I'm looking for a guy who used to run races here in Dasan. Did a little gambling on the side. Ring a bell? Depends. Who wants to know? <laughs> well, I do. You do? I don't know you, stranger. Maybe Macon took a long walk off a tall pillar. Maybe he's my second cousin, twice removed. I didn't mention his name. So you were Macon. I didn't say I was. Maybe I only heard of him, just like you did. Stay frosty. In the summer? How? Out. You still need me for anything? I'm still waiting for that lampe I sent you out for. Right, coming up. What's wrong with the Nom Noms this time? They got shot, man. Talons have shamazes, but these poor creatures don't have Zorp, so they just die. There must be a cure. Can't you come up with something? Uh, I wouldn't know where to start. But I heard rumors about a nut job, some kind of beast whisperer who fixes animals. I, I forget which village he's in. 
Since no one in Dissan's been able to solve this, you might want to try your luck with him. Zanat mentioned him a couple of times. Maybe he could tip you off. Should I bring the vet here once I find him? Not sure what a vet is, but no tourist would last more than a moon working those pillars. If you bring me the recipe of a cure and its ingredients, I could certainly whip something up for you. I'll even test it on myself first. I love new experiences. <laughs> Have a good trip. Oh, don't mind if I do. Woohoo! the whole battalion, huh? Free to go. Is Brahm sending you? We're friends, yes. Go. Carmelia, stranger. Thank you.
here and run to your village. I'm too sad to enjoy this moment, but I'll do as you say. Can hear me. Can you erase that memory for me? Essence Shrine. Good old Slade's gonna catch that flying essence.
there. I'm Cutter Slade. Who are you? The name's Nadul. I'm the former chief of Desan. Who's the new chief? The invaders. This village is now an occupied state. Anyone who comes here must be stupid or asking to be reverted. Which one are you, stranger? Well, my ex would say stupid. This may sound crazy, but I've been sent by the Yods. I think. The Yods? They have abandoned us. So, what's bugging your nom noms? Nom noms are born under the sea with a small amount of levitating gas inside them. As they grow, the gas gland grows, allowing them to rise out of the sea and float into the sky. When they get old, they go up, up until they disappear into the moons. I read a scroll once explaining how nom noms process elements from their environment to produce the levitating gas. That's a lot of precise information there, Chief. Are you saying the toxic air in the junkyard is poisoning the nom noms? Yes. The junkyard is killing them slowly. The waste must be cleaned and someone has to get rid of the toxic barrels down there. But it's infested with krakeets, so there's only so much I can do. Why do you care so much about nom noms anyway? Nom noms were part of something that defined the spirit of this village. If you want to know more, go find Makan and ask him. I can help you with your little recycling issue, but I'll need you to scratch my back too, Chief. Massages were never my thing. You wouldn't like the rugged fingers of a miner on your back, trust me. We'll share whatever treasure we... Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll take a scrap or two, but I mean, can you use your authority to make your people trust me? They need to know we're fighting on the same team. There are many ways for a stranger to become popular in this time. Ask Makan about the non non races. Way to blow off my question, Nadul. I was asking you. Oh, and one more thing. This is very important. Tell Makan that Gamak sent you. Huh? Who is Gamak? I am. I gave you a fake name until I could trust you. Nadul is not even a Talan name. It's what you dig out of your ears with your longest nail. You got me going around town talking about Irgunk? This is not over, Chief. Just tell Makan you spoke with Gamak, okay? Say the phrase, Kamilia Makan. He'll open up to you. What's up with the Nom Noms? Some of them got shut up so badly, they can't be used for Zort. Your damned invaders are so cruel. Why don't they let those poor animals be? Can you patch them up? Me? Are you serious? How would I do that? There's gotta be someone who can fix them, right? Maybe Draud could come up with some kind of cure. One time, we all got worms eating rotten morax, and Draud made a cream to rub on our... Whoa, TMI, Nadul. I'll go talk to him. TMI? Is that what you call the worms in your... TMI means too much information. I got it. I'll talk to Draud. What do you use Halidium for? For a lot of things. Talans haven't discovered all the uses of Halidium yet, and maybe they never will. It is said that the ancients left Adelpha without a complete knowledge of Halidium, and they occupied this planet much longer than we have. That must be the reason why the invaders are occupying your planet, too. They're after Halidium's secret powers. Some are known. Halidium can hurt, it can heal, it can make your life a dream or a nightmare. Talk to Brom. He is our Halidium expert. Say to him the words, Carmelia Brom. He'll understand. So about that scroll you read, the Nom Nom scroll, did that happen to come from the Dano Library in Procriana? I'm collecting scrolls for this old librarian, Kureg. <laughs> Guy can't hear a thing. It did come from Procriana, but... Look, I'm only collecting them so good old Kureg can rebuild the library. I borrowed it moons ago. I'm well aware of the late fees, and I can imagine it's not raining Zorkins in Dasan, so I'm not gonna squeeze you, Nadul. Relax. Okay. If you help me clean the junkyard, I'll return part of the scroll. Part of the scroll? Why not the whole scroll? I only have that part left. I ate the other part. That's how hungry we are around here. Oh boy. Okay, I guess that'll do. Who's giving you orders? Not who, 
But what? The invaders are machines without essence. Their ever-present drones watch us from above and shoot us when we step out of line. You would think we could deliver enough Halidium to sate their appetite, but no. The more we provide, the more they demand. Not even our animals can escape the misery. Their damn toxic waste poisons our non-noms. The invaders are filthier than sewer rats. I'm not sure what you mean, but if you are referring to Damanai, we don't have those filthy rodents in Dasan. Uh, yeah, something like that. For a toxic waste dump, your village looks pretty clean. The invaders dump all their waste at the foot of the northeast pillar. A steaming junkyard infested by vicious packs of krakits. I should get rid of this waste. But even with the Alka's back on, I would have a hard time finding any volunteer for early reverting. I could start by getting rid of the krakits. Can you describe them to me? Can you describe fear? Only vaguely. And we never really met. Let me get rid of yours. You sound brave. Or brain damaged. Either way, a little toxic radiation shouldn't be a problem for you. If you clean up this mess, this sand will be in your debt. Destroy any toxic barrels you can find. <laughs> Hold on. How toxic is toxic? I don't want to glow in the dark. Or maybe I do. That'd be kind of cool. But seriously, what's in it for me? The invaders are throwing all kinds of useful things in their trash. Help us steal these treasures, and we'll share them with you. Well, it's not stealing if it comes from the trash. Rule number one on the mean streets of Cincinnati. I can't handle more drama right now. Do you mind keeping your personal tragedy to yourself? Right. Focus on the trash. What did you do in this village? The massive pillars we stand on are filled with different varieties of halidium, the most precious elements in Adelpha. We used to mine the pillars and extracted the halidium for our own benefit. Doesn't look like the mining stopped. We're now slaves, mining for the invaders' profit. We're too starved and weak to offer any resistance. I don't know about you, but I'm always grumpy on an empty stomach. How could we enhance the mood around this place? It's too late. We're as good as reverted. Have a nice one. I don't remember nice. my arm anymore. Sanat, please help me. Hey, don't cut in line. I saw you. I was here oh, first. Oh, yards. Back to work. I miss it. What toe? I can't play foot rock anymore. Oh, hey, it hurts. Uh, ah! That rock came out of nowhere. Is there a hole in my head? Next. Well done, Sanat. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Zanat, Shamas of Desan. I'm looking for a way to heal the wounded Nom Noms. You have any tips for that? I can heal a Talan. I can heal you. But my essence is useless with animals. Sorry. I mean, there could be someone who could help, but... But what? He may be the worst Shamas in all of Adelpha. His name is Zalab, and you will find him in Sapa. He has a special dedication to animals. Wait a minute. You want to be back in your cell? No. Yard, no. Well, now that you mention it, it wasn't so bad there. What do you mean? You were a prisoner, locked up against your own will. Yes. But the food... It was so good. Really? Well, how would robots know how to cook? They don't eat. I don't know. I didn't see them bring it, but every couple of moons I would wake up in my cell and there would be a lunchbox in the corner. Uh, someone else must have put it there. Not a robot. Who then? We don't have that kind of food in Desan. It was so tasty and different from anything I have ever eaten before. Let's call it a mystery for now. 
Even if I have a little idea. I need help. Can you heal me? This I can do. Just breathe and let me do the rest. Stay safe. And hungry. Carmelea, Brahm. And to you, friend. Nedul told me to say that. What does it mean? <laughs> That's a good one. Why do the invaders take prisoners? They must be using them for something. I was one of them, but I didn't stay long enough to figure out why they were keeping me alive. It seems the drones can't see the difference between one Talan and the other. Heck, they even shoot the non noms Well, I just had to change my clothes to avoid being caught again. Did you communicate with the invaders? I tried to, but I couldn't figure out their language. They sound like Twan has copulating in a mud pit. You never forget that sound. If you got out, others can too. Well, not without a little help. We can't give any because if we show a hint of rebellion, poof. Reverted by drone fire. It's too risky. That being said, I see you're carrying some fancy weaponry. You could serve the revolution and free our people. That would make you the ultimate badass. How do you know I'm not the ultimate badass already? I sure as hell am busy enough. If every prisoner memorizes the plan of his outpost, we could easily steal from the bases later on. I could lead the operation, and we'd share our loot with you. If you work with us, that is. Oh, wow. Tolan Ops. That's got some heft. Okay, I'm in. I can use some of the Halidium they're keeping, plus some other goodies. Release the prisoners, and we have a deal. There's a cell in every outpost around the sand. We'll send them back to loot the bases for you as part of the Talan Ops. Ram told me you know a thing or two about bombs. Well, I can slap together a jar and a detonation system, but a bomb would still need explosive powder. Explosive powder just happens to be one of Draud's recipes. So you should probably ask him. Tell him you spoke to both Kamak and myself, and we trust you. Or better yet, just greet him with the phrase, Carmelia Draud. He's part of the revolution. Nadul, I mean Gamak, seems to care a lot about Nom Noms. Do you know why? Gamak and Makan used to make a lot of Zorkins together. Makan was organizing Nom Nom races, and Gamak was one of his first champions. Now the Nom Noms are sick, and the races can't happen. No race, no fun, no reward. It's a big hit for both of them, and for Desan's morale in general. Are Nom Noms part of your revolution plan? I don't use Nom Noms. I suffer from vertigo. But the Talan Ops do. Anything I should know about Draud? Draud burned his brain out on experimental substances. Don't worry if he seems a bit loopy. He's one of the finest alchemists on Adelpha, and one of Okastok's official suppliers. Okastok? Sounds like Woodstock. Not that I've ever been there. Is Woodstock a sexy festival? Because Draud's a real doctor of love. 
Oh, you you do know Baram from Sapa, don't you? Of course I do. How's old Baram doing? Busy with Sapa's uprising. He's got a great plan. Using Ventilopes to drop bombs from the sky. Only thing he's missing is the bombs. Hmm. Does sound like a great plan. I think our village has everything you need to manufacture bombs. And you never thought about using bombs against your oppressors? What would we do with them? Kick the explosive jars at the invaders like we're playing foot rock? At least Sapa has the Ventilopes, so we could coordinate with them. For a price. How much are we talking about? Too early to tell. Don't want to put the carriage before the Twanha. First, let's see if we can make a bomb without blowing ourselves up. So you're some kind of rebel, and working for the invaders is your cover? Sure is. They're not suspecting a thing. We keep delivering the age to their bases, but each time we remember the doors, the storage rooms, waiting for the right time to strike back. The invaders caught me once, though. What did you do? I was in the middle of sabotaging one of their drones. Not a fun time. I thought they were gonna revert me. They threw me one of their cells instead. What can your Talan Ops do for me? Nothing yet. They need to drink Guadalampe and Jaud's barrels are dry. What do you mean? Guadalampe gives us a bit of a, what do you call it? 11th sense. Sensing the exact location of the loot is the best way to operate. Draud can explain this better than I can, but here's what you'll get from me. Our 11th sense is how I've managed to optimize the work in Desan. You feel the kind of helidium you're looking for, and just go right for it. Boom. Toans usually have 10 senses? Of course. How many do you got? Me? The same. The same. Why would I have less senses than you guys? <laughs> uh, the drone patrol is a problem. Uh, there are a bunch of armored killers in the sky. Yeah, I think they're a problem. Take them down if you can. It will help our revolution. How do you feel about the invaders taking over Dasan? How do I feel? I feel we need to fight these bastards before they revert us all. I know a way to do it. What's that? Stealth. I know how to sneak into their bases without getting caught. I even mapped some of their outposts in my head. They stole everything from us. We can do the same to them without being noticed. Isn't stealing from the invaders dangerous? Not if we're properly organized. It won't happen in one moon. We are committed. Who's we? More than half the population of Desan are rebels, waiting for the right time to strike. And you're talking to their leader. Have you been stealing anything? My Talan ops are on it, but there's been setbacks. Thanks, Brom. I'm heading out. I'll be here if you need me. And to you, my friend. Can you tell me more about the races? Yeah. Racing the Nom Noms? Tell me about it. I made a lot of Zorkins off those races. If we could ever get the races going again, it would raise the spirits of this town, give us the strength to kick the invaders out. I'm always on the lookout for new talent. I guess your pool is a bit limited with the isolation and all. You got that right, pal. Also, Nom Nom races need a full-time Shamas on hand, which is the reason why I can't organize a race without Sanat. See you, Makan. 
Until next time. Yo. <sighs> okay, that sounded the opposite of cool. I don't have the patience to learn new words today. Sorry, friend. What is it this time? The freaking drones. They shot at the Nom Noms. Some of them are in critical condition. God damn it. <laughs> no disrespect, but Nom Noms are kind of weaklings, aren't they? They're my bread and butter. That's what they are. I don't know if you had a look around, but there is no bread and no butter in Dasan. Soon there won't be any Nom Noms either. All right, I'll blast any drone I can find then. No. The most urgent thing is to find a way to heal the Nom Noms. Can you ask around the village for any kind of cure? I can't do it. I owe Zorkins to basically everyone here. Nadul is nice. What do you mean, nice? Eating a duel is nice. What? No. I would never do that. It's okay. I know some people in Dasan who are hungry enough to eat Nadul. Are you serious? Hunger shouldn't turn them into cannibals. Relax, it's just Nadul. I've eaten worse things. But I like Nadul. You're a weirdo. I got your Shamaz back. That's amazing. Although I lost a bet with Brom, I didn't think you'd survive. So much trust. It warms a man's heart. I'm still after the cure for the Nom Noms. Have you asked Zanat? He can help you for sure. See you, Makan. Until next time! Talking to me? I don't see any other Nadul here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're funny. And strange. By strange, I assume you mean mysterious with roguish good looks. No. More like funny in a strange way. Which is good. We don't have a lot of fun in this, huh? It's refreshing. The villagers agree, so let's talk. Have you met with Zanat? Yes. He took care of my blisters. I can race again. You're... Okay. Won't the invaders have something to say about these races? As far as they are concerned, we're busy working all moon long. It just takes a bit of acting every time a patrol is around. Brahm's optimized solution is buying us a lot of time. <laughs> Clever. So long, Nadul. <laughs> Nadul, you're talking to me? I don't see any other Nadul here. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're funny and strange. By strange, I assume you mean mysterious with roguish good looks. No, more like funny in a strange way, which is good. We don't have a lot of fun in this, huh? It's refreshing. 
The villagers agree, so let's talk. Have you met with Zanad? Yes. He took care of my blisters. I can race again. You're... Okay. Won't the invaders have something to say about these races? As far as they're concerned, we're busy working all moon long. It just takes a bit of acting every time a patrol is around. Brahm's optimized solution is buying us a lot of time. <laughs> Clever. So long, Nadul. <laughs> it's still funny. Brahm's a cool name. Where does it come from? From my parents? Where you think it comes from? The moons? Yeah, but... <laughs> okay, focus. Tell me how you've managed to free so much time for the miners. Ah, Gamak told you about that. It's genius, really. We only dig where the Helidium is, and we know exactly where to find it, so no useless work. We make every miner's pickaxe count. Saves a lot of time, and the production doesn't go down. The invaders don't notice a thing. How is that possible? The Talanops, my friend. The Talanops. Thanks. I'll be back. I'll be here. So, I got some of that stuff you requested. Let me see. Dasan's in desperate need of Lampe. Can you send some? No can do. If you send Lampe through a Daoka, it comes out the other end tasting like Twanha piss. I can't send a convoy of the pillars either. Not by land. Does it really taste that bad? You ever lick the gua of a ventilope? This tastes worse. Not my thing, but I get the feeling it won't be an issue for the people of Dasan. The taste, I mean. Yachts above, is it that bad there? I heard rumors of slavery. Dasan is ten times worse off than Bida. Come on, Marzo. They're Talan, you're Talan. They need your help. I'll send whatever they need. Who should I talk to over there? That would be Draud. Ha ha ha. Oh, I know Draud. He's still selling blue head. Maybe I'll ask him for a couple of crystals for the next orchestra. Another son to help me run this brewery would be nice. Maybe a trade-off is possible. Well, I'm sure you two can work out an arrangement. So, can I count on you? I'm your Talan. Tell Draud it's coming. I'll have Mirko prepare a shipment soon. See you next moon. Spiders.
can do something with that. into a giant bomb. Definitely not the trip I signed up for. Tell me the original idea, then. I was trying a new recipe with uh, Tick and Meptar, and, uh, sword. That stuff is so unstable. Look at all that smoke. I couldn't see a thing. A thick smoke screen. That's it. Drowd, could you do this again? Or no, even better. Could you create some kind of smoking projectile? What's the point? The smoke doesn't get you high, bro. Brahms Talan Ops could use smoking grenades to create a diversion. No one would see their little robbery operation. Carmelet, <laughs> Droud. And to you, my friend. You ever make explosive powder? You don't want to eat that. <laughs> I won't. Brom's making some bombshells to send to Sapa. He just needs something to fill him with. Okay, sure. Revolutions are cool, and the moons of the flowers revolution are way behind us. I'm down for something stronger. But to make the bombs go boom, I'll need boogots. What's a boogot? What's a boogot? The mushroom, dude. Come on. An O. Oh, I also need dark collidium. A lot of it. Ask Brahm about the old Dark Age. He'll complain, but just tell him I need it. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, my latest creation is kicking in. Mmm. <laughs> I'm off my nips. Is my mouth still on my face? Oh, boy. You told me you had a plan to make those smoke grenades I told you about. Yeah, yeah, smoke grenades. Uh... Uh, I, I got most of the necessary ingredients, but I still need ticking meptar. I need it fresh, and it doesn't stay fresh very long. Can you get some? Oh, and boogots. The more boogots you can find, the better. You mentioned ticking meptar. What is that? It's a vegetable growing at the top of the northeast pillar. Once it's cut, ticking meptar loses its nutrients very fast, so you have to glide your way back here Bingo bango, or you just end up with a useless plant. Where can I find these bugats? They grow in a forest south of Emilia. These mushrooms are explosive, dude. Literally. <laughs> so tread softly when you get near them. I spoke with Nadul. Whoa, T. I want the same thing you're taking. What? You're not making any sense right now. Says the guy who spoke with dirt. <laughs> respect, my friend. Talk about respect. That's your leader you're talking about. Whoa, whoa, now that's intense. Even for me. All right, whatever. See you next time. And the time after that, my friend. Dear your car. We stand united 
to guide our elder through his time of reversion. May his essence please your realm, like it blessed ours, from this cycle to eternity. Kadar Sham is back. At least this one offers a nice view. Cheer up here, Axe. Having the time of my life, as you can tell. Arabold is safe. He learned something out of all of this. If your heart is a volcano, don't expect flowers to bloom there. A very inspiring lesson indeed. Hermos is back safe and sound. He learned a valuable lesson too. Life is like a bath. The longer you're in it, the more wrinkled you get. His words resonate with me. Thank you. Poor two y'all didn't make it. But his hazard has taught me something. You only feel a cold wind blow while you try to hold on to the past. Thank you, Pilgrim. These words are inspiring. I think I came across Umgand himself, or at least his Hazardess. Would that make any sense to you? It's impossible. Umgand reverted hundreds of thousands of cycles before my time. I found the location of the Umgand cave. You know that pilgrim you misguided? He found the place where Umgand's Hazardess was lost for all those years. All thanks to you. This is such an inspiring discovery. Thank you, pilgrim. Bye, here, Axe. By yourself. Hey, Kor. You can ask for my healing touch if you're hurt. You don't have to worry about that factory anymore, Kor. The chimneys spat their last puff of smoke. Yes. Yes. I feel it now. It is a fantastic moon to praise the balance of the essence. Breathe in, breathe out. I'd understand if you want to take your clothes off, Pilgrim. Be free. All right, all right. Enjoy the clean mountain air. You already seem a little high on it. Well, Kor, you got your Darasham back. Congratulations. Waiting for the first leaps of faith in so many cycles. Bless you, beautiful and muscular pilgrim. Ah, uh, okay. Glad to help. See you later, Kor. I look forward to it. Day. It's me. Didn't you say your name was Cutter? Please don't copy mine. This town's not big enough for two Udais. <laughs> Whatever you say, pal. Droud sent me. He needs you and Dasan to bless his barrels of Guarlambe. He told me his sauce could be lethal without your help. He's pretty worked up about it, and it's urgent. Ooh, a trip to the Pillars City. What a dream. <clears throat> Anyway, let me grab my canteen and some water for the road. Okay. So you're coming? Gualampe is as good as crack it poison if I don't steal Gerald's barrels with an LOA ruin. 
Now imagine I take a pass and Polana gets overwhelmed with hundreds of Dasan Hazardesses. His problem becomes my problem, you see? This is why I'm telling Hermos that Atalan should never postpone his chores. Remind me who Hermos is again? My assistant! Where is Hermos when you need him, huh? Always avoiding work. That's it. I'm taking his brother email with me this time. Let's do this. See ya. See me? Yes, I hope so. What do you want? I got the Codex. Happy to hand this hot potato over to you. Fey essence can be intense, especially when the Codex is at full capacity. Let me take it from here. You served the Fey essence well today, Pilgrim. I think I did what you asked. Is your Darashem active now? Ah, I feel my essence boiling again. The Darosham is once again ready to welcome Talans and Hazadesses. I could have achieved this without you, but you didn't want to lend me one of your precious weapons. Is that what happened? The invaders built themselves a nice sauna in that volcano. Too bad I had to shut it down. The lava flows once again. The Yods will remember what you did, but you remember this too. The fight has only begun! One step at a time, my hot-tempered friend. One step at a time. I guess we're done, then. He was born from fire, and he returns to fire, seeking fusion with his Yod. Bless his essence, O mighty Yod Fay, so the cycles in his life may count for his eternal reversion. Fay Darashem is ready to send you to your final resting place. Chief, can we talk? Is there a problem? What does it take to run a town like this? Thanks to you, the Darshans are open, and we are expecting a flood of Elder Talans and Hazardesses to pour through our gates. It is my role to keep track of them all, so we can be sure that the reversion process runs smoothly. Oh, that's it? So you're more of a glorified bookkeeper. We have a system. And I am the chief. If I do my job right, the system runs smoothly, and Talans end their lives with dignity. Unfortunately, it has become more and more difficult to do my job since the invasion. On my way. So am I. It's you! That is one healthy essence vine here, Axe. You must be happy. I am happy! And slowly getting my inspiration back. The essence vine is such a splendor to contemplate. The splendor doesn't hurt the bad guys, does it? I beg your pardon? I kind of hoped the vine would be a weapon against the invaders. And at the end of the day, it's just... a vine? Not so fast, Pilgrim. 
we take good care of the essence vine, it will provide special seeds. Seeding the essence vine during battle can be extremely powerful and unleash a horde of vengeful hazardesses against your enemies. Nice. I'm getting a Jack and the Beanstalk vibe here. Camilla used to love that story. If the vine continues to grow, I can collect its seeds. But you have to talk to someone else, say, a recreator, and come up with something that works in battle. I'll find someone. What should I tell him? Let me write it down for you. See you later. We oh, yes? Herrick's actually turned out to be a help. I'm psyched. How did that happen? Did you ingest Hoti paste? What? No, but Herrick's gave me instructions to build a very useful type of beacon. Isn't that sick? You should see a Shamaz if you feel sick, Ulukai. I meant it in a good way. These beacons control the essence vine. I can't manufacture them myself, though. I've seen all kind of beacons around Nurkan's shop in Procriana. Maybe talk to him. And stop feeding on Hoti paste. It's food for Tuan Haas, and it makes you delirious. Thank you for the spare parts. They were really useful. Don't thank me. You should trust the Dalatai Guardians a bit more. Liaz is on our side, you know. Trusting them is what got Hune reverted. I prefer to remain anonymous. Anyway, they are ready. That's... impressive, Nurkan. <laughs> good job. Liaz, I got good news. If you come to the same secret coordinates, you'll find a batch of usable weapons waiting for you and the Dalatai Guardians. This could change everything, Ulukai. I'd like to meet with the Recreator to thank him in person. I promise to protect his identity. He's being very cautious after what happened to his friends. I understand. Thank you, Ulukai. The Dalatai Guardians will equip shortly. And Liaz? Please be careful with that stuff. I'll show you soon how it works, but it's next level. Slate out. Trust me. Hi, Nurkan. Have a souvenir. It's free. Take a look at these notes. I got them from Herax and Polana. They're incomplete, though. Can you help me? Hmm. Instructions for building some kind of essence vine beacon what the yards is that based on essence vine seeds so this part is pretty clear but okay i can see what this is supposed to do but i would need two more parts to make it work as described here essence vine seeds you said yes they grow on the vine itself at the center of the flower easy to collect then what else do you need you'll have to trust me on this bring me kamenai talons it's a bit of an effort to get them, but they should work if combined with red, no, green helidium. Essence vine seeds, Kamenai talons, and green helidium. This is gonna be something quite unique. Keep a low profile, man. Can. Have a souvenir! It's free! This blue helidium just sit here.
They're locked on to me. water. Brookliana is still a small hive of talents, but you have revived our hope to restore the buzzy capital of knowledge it once was. This Deruman is our humble contribution to the Talan Greater Union. I will hand it to the Almael on your behalf. Um, no pun intended, of course. Procriana's Daramon belongs with the Almael. I need to go to Kizar. Hi, Refar. You See, of course. Science. As you brought inspiration back to Palana, I trust you to bring this precious Daramon to Kizar. Palana has faith in one united Yab's nation. Thanks for this, Herox. I'll pass a message to the Almael. Herox wants me to bring Palana's Daramon to the Almael. Sounds like a good idea. It's you! Can we make the Essence Vine stronger? Yes. More Elder Talons and Hazardesses guided to the Darashams will give more power to the Vine. Anything else? You can also influence the growth of the root, but that's it. Could the Essence Vine grow faster and produce more seeds? Perhaps. If you collect any wisdom during your journey, share it with me. It will make me a better caretaker and accelerate the growth of the vine. Not sure how I can collect wisdom, but I guess I'll recognize it when I see it. You can start by repairing the mistakes of my past. I'm ashamed to admit I've misled a few pilgrims on their journey. Making sure they're safe will help me do my job better. The Darishim Keepers know the stories. Talk to them. So, if I write your wrongs, you'll take better care of the vine. Got it. Be more careful with your advice, okay? With the hope you have brought to Palana, I already feel less confused. Thank you. See you later. for me, soldier. I took another fence down. Hope that helps. Understood. Thanks. Let's lay down.
out of ammo. for me. Yeah, this is gonna hurt.
think I'm not the way to go. You have returned. More and more Talans are about to join their essence in the biggest Akastok Adelpha has ever seen. The Yards must be pleased. You have returned. May the Yards favor your quest for our sake. Those cycles spent studying the art of sacred calligraphy in Procriana, and here I am, blessing 30 barrels of liquor. You're the best, Dude. Until next time. There won't be a next time, Draud. I'm busy in Palana, and I can't trust my assistant Ermos to handle the Darasham while I'm gone. This is a one-time thing. But I'll have more barrels of Guarlampe ready soon. I need your magic touch, dude. I knew you would say that. So I brought a second assistant with me. Email here can stay in this arm. He'll bless your next batch, and the one after that. I taught him how to draw the sacred rune of Elloway. That's great. Come on, Email. Take a little sippy sip. I also taught him never to take a sippy sip. these Bugats to blow up the greenhouse. Dark Halidium. Still not sure what it is exactly. So, is it ready? Nadul is the only way to find out. Nadul? Ew. What do you mean, Nadul? Ew! What the hell, man? Gross. It tastes like perfect nothing. Guarlampe is served.
Yikes. Guaralampe smells worse than regular lampe. Hey, Brom. Hey, back. How much you want for the bombs? Sapa doesn't have much to offer. They're suffering from the same invasion you are. A bomb for a fish. How does that sound for a trade? I could make that happen. Especially if you like Senecta. Senecta tastes like Zort. But my gourmet days are far behind me. We'd be happy with any food not coming from the junkyard. We have a deal, then. We know the drone patrol's routines, so organizing transport through the Daoka shouldn't be an issue. Should I send the first shipment now? I have to go. See you next moon! Easy with the jars, guys. We're almost done. Remember to load them slowly, one bomb at a time. What part of one bomb at a time didn't you understand? This will take all moon if we don't speed things. Ow. Ah! Azort! Azort! If the bomb hits the cart, we're all meeting with the yachts! Take cover! I got this. Trapping, a pico, and cash! <laughs> That's impressive reflexes, Brom. And a legwork. First league. Fifteen cycles of foot rock payoff. I used to play defense. I want you on my team, champ. Now go. I'd be very cautious with the shipment. I hope the Ventilope Club and Zap to know what it's doing. Good to see you, Nadul. How's life? If I was a poet, I would describe life as a long, blistered trail of broken fingernails and stomach cramps. Well, I'm a simple talan, so I would simply say that it sucks. And there goes the light mood. Did you hear the good news? Your village is gonna be feasting on fried Senecta very soon. Yes, I heard. That is good news. Although I'll still need the Guaralampe. I remember Senecta's bitter taste all too well. How come? I was born and raised in Sapa. Really? What are you doing here? I was just a youth when the invaders stormed Sapa, my former village. They turned the place into a bloodbath, slaughtering fisher talans left and right. My brother sent me to protect the Daoka portal, but I did not want to be reverted. So you jumped through it? Yes. Seconds after, it went down. Moons went by and I hid here, ashamed of what I did. No matter how many brothers I meet in Tisan, I miss my real brother, Tanak. He is a great leader himself. I became chief here, hoping he would be proud of me one moon. Wait a minute. You're Tanak's brother. He believes you got reverted in the attack. You know of Tanak? I'm relieved he's alive. Maybe one moon we'll meet again. But I'm running out of moons. Oh, don't wait too long. It's never too late to fix family issues until it's too late. I can relate, trust me. Will you organize the bomb shipments? Yes, I will. Thanks for your time, Chief. I'm gonna have a look around. Carmelia, brave one.
sending new coordinates to your map. The latest quantum fence was tricky. Hope I didn't leave traces in the log. Be careful. Jack finds out you're the mole, he won't hesitate to kill you. He's lost it and someone had to step up. I know what I'm doing. This new security update's been a pain to bypass. Won't stop me, though. I'm glad we're on the same side, soldier. Slate out. How's it going, Drowd? Not good. I'm still missing some ingredients. Is that the stuff you need? Uh, that's Meptar, all right. Well done. You can bring me more if you get the chance. See you next time. And the time after that, my friend. You're coming with me, plant. Cam and I hate these things. Alien spiders.
You're looking for me? The Dalk has been pretty useful transporting bombs from Dasan. Don't hesitate to bring more. You guys will have to trade Synectus for bombs. Dasan's miners are hungry. I see. Too bad it takes forever to fish them. Talk to Baram about this. I'm sure you guys will figure something out. See ya. <laughs> Unair is back in one piece, Chief. Bless the Yods for your courage, stranger. If only we could pierce the invaders' armor and strike their cold hearts. But we will never fight them off. About that, Baram and Unair came up with an interesting idea. Ooh, an idea? I like a nice juicy idea. If they found a way to hurt the invaders, I'm in. How can the Chief of Sapa help? Keep training more Ventilope Riders, and tell them this has nothing to do with fishing. This is war. I'll ask you, Nair, to give me the details. Thanks again for your help. You remind me of a bedtime story my mother used to tell me in Kizar. Let me guess, the Ulakai one? I see you're familiar with it, too. My brother used to love that tale. Oh, yeah? Now, it's funny you mention it, because... It's the kind of idealistic propaganda that got him reverted. Sorry to bother you with my gloomy memories. Y you were saying... Nothing. I, uh... Barely remember the story anyway. Is everything set? Oh, I love the smell of dark halidium in the morning. I have a squad of riders waiting for instructions and enough ventilopes for a test flight. Should we bomb those invaders into oblivion? For my brother? For Sapa? I thought you'd never ask. See you later, Tanakh. Yep. Can't take any more. At least for now. Hey, Zalab. Unair is now safe and sound. I heard. Well played, stranger. Staying true to my word, I hereby deem you an honorary prospect of the Ventilope Club. Prospect? Important topic number one. Now that the Ventilope Club is attracting more members, we need to establish a hierarchy. A hierarchy for three members? Let's a start, damn it. I got dibs on president. Unair is volunteered to be secretary, and you will be our prospect until you earn your place. <laughs> Whatever floats your boats out. Say I would have to heal a bunch of nom-noms. What would I need? There are no nom-noms in Sapa. Is Zanat sending you? It doesn't matter who sends me. Nom-noms are sick in Dasan. Do you have a cure? So... Zanat is done mocking me now that he needs something from me. I want to be clear, I'm doing this for the Nom Noms, okay? Not for any hypocrite Shamaz who comes asking for favors after undermining what I do for the last 2,000 moons. Zalib, please. I don't have anything to do with your quarrels. I just want to help the Nom Noms. Fine. Let me write it down for you. Please, give it to someone who actually knows what he's doing, not Zanat. They should have all the ingredients in Dasan, except for the black algae. Pick it up here and bring it with you. And just like that, he's gone. to reduce danger.
not be Kamenai chasing me. Yeah, this is gonna hurt.
Bird Trail. Sweet. the reward. shrine. Bet there's something sweet inside. I 
hate giant alien spiders. Chasing me. Mm, I should follow that arm trail. this way. Slash should open that plant.
think I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm going the wrong way. Not the way to go. Wrong way, Slade. Where the hell are you going, Slade? A good slash should open that plant. Always time to follow an arm trail. the reward. You picked the wrong target, bird. for one quick orange trail. I see you. Piece of cake. 
let's slash open that chest of plant. Or whatever. Bombs to make the WFA go boom. Me like. Me like a lot. How's the bomb making going? Good news. We did it. Now is the right time to discuss the price of these mean babies. How's it going with the smoke grenades? It's going good. We're throwing the grenades inside storage rooms filled with green and red helidium. By the time the smoke dissipates, the talent ops are gone with the loot and the robots don't know what hit them. I have to go. See you next moon. Look who it is. Who? Where? Calm down, it's just us. Cutter Slade and Nadul. Can you give me that scroll? Kureg needs it for his library. Can I keep it a little bit longer? So you can eat the whole thing? No way. All right, then. Here you go. Thanks, Nadul. I cleaned the junkyard. Wow. Never thought I'd say those words. What a day I'm having. You destroyed the toxic barrels? You defeated the Krakits? Your father would be proud. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for the crack it's part. Don't publicize the toxic barrels too much. You get yourself a name doing that, and next thing you know, people are expecting you to clean their toilets, or worse. Not my favorite gigs. Are the Nom Noms healing? It's a process, but yes. They can live long, healthy lives, as long as the drones don't show up to shoot at them. That's a whole different issue. I'm out of here. I got the right seaweed. All looks the same to me. How does it feel to be back home, Zanat? It's... it's my village. People usually feel good in their home, don't they? You tell me. You don't seem too psyched. Well, with Makan's races, the mining accidents, the drone reprisals, and those goddamn foot rock injuries, a lot of Talans got hurt during my absence. I got my work cut out for me. At least in prison, I could rest and eat real food. Mmm, real food. I brought this special algae from Sapa. Zalab told me I can use it as some kind of patch to cure animal wounds or diseases. The patch has to stay on for a couple of moons. But how are you going to do that? Nom noms never land on the ground. Even if you reach them in midair, I don't think the patches would stay in place for two moons straight. I'm afraid it's not going to work. Zalab and his exotic ideas. I'm sorry. Damn it. I can make him eat it. But I'm not even sure if they have mouths. Talk to Draud. I'm sure he can come up with something. Stay safe. And hungry. 
How's it going, Drowd? Not good. I'm still missing some ingredients. See you next time. And the time after that, my friend. How's it going, Drowd? Not good. I'm still missing some ingredients. Can you help me with this healing algae? I'm not sure how to use it on the Nom Noms. Well, can they smoke it? I don't think the Nom Noms can smoke anything, Drowd. Oh, right. No, no. It's got it. Now, I, I can make concentrated drops out of the algae, but you'll be the one giving it to them. Nom Nom skin is like a porous membrane, so pouring the fluid on their back should do it. How much time do you need? I can do this right away. Wait here. Healing Nom Noms. Hope I can handle this. Not a good time to be scared of heights.
the fist of the revolution, made of flawless halidium. Give this Daramon to the Almayel, and let her know that the San is free to join the Talon Alliance thanks to you. Oh, I didn't do this alone, but you can count on me, Brom. Gotta show Dasan's Daramon to the Almayel ASAP.